Hello friends, happy Wednesday. I've got my uh, Timmy Thorpe pipe and I am loading it right now with some Haunted Bookshop. Tim makes a great pipe. If you haven't seen Tim Thorpe's pipes, check him out on Instagram. He might have a website, I'm not sure. But, uh, really love this pipe. Anyway, uh, so Wednesday, why am I here? Well, the truth is, I've kind of missed my Friday rambles. And, uh, I can't do them on Friday, it's just too much. So we'll do them on Wednesday, see how it goes. I'm sitting in a parking lot that there's no place in particular, just a convenient place to pack a pipe and light up and get this started. And today, not just any Wednesday, Today is Ash Wednesday, which marks the first day of Lent. For those of you that aren't in the Catholic tradition, that's the 40 days when we wear hair shirts, beat ourselves with chains, and subsist entirely on bread and water. No, that's not, that's not true. Uh, the season of anticipation. And preparation. Let's get on the road. It's actually parallel, very parallel, to the 40 days of Advent, which is, you know, preparation for Christmas. Um, Lent is 40 days in preparation, you know, on the one hand for the passion and suffering of Christ, but also for his glorious resurrection on Easter Sunday morning. Anyway, this is not a religious ramble by any means. I just was commenting on the day. Now, what does happen in the Catholic world, and maybe in other traditions as well, I don't know, is that we do tend to practice some usually some form of uh, self-denial uh, but not necessarily we, we try to do something different so I might uh, I won't do this but I might say I'm not going to smoke a pipe during Lent uh, or I'm not going to well one of the things we do do we Catholics do do is, do, do, uh, is we, uh, we don't eat meat on Fridays and uh that's only required, if you will, during Lent, but uh, I actually don't eat meat on Fridays throughout the year. But to be honest, that's mostly because I really like seafood. So, you know, this, this concept of giving things up, it's... I think of it as, as, as spiritual training, really. You know, it's... it's and, and you can get into all kinds of mystical stuff about combining your sufferings with the sufferings of Christ and, and all those kind. But, you know, the bottom line, it's spiritual training. And it doesn't have to be suffering. It could be, I'm going to read a, a chapter of the Bible every morning. Or, I'm going to pray an extra set of prayers after lunch. Or I'm going to help my neighbor with that uh, tree that he's been needing to cut down and hasn't been able to afford to do it. Now, do you need to do this? No, of course you don't need to do it. But it's training. Do you need to train to run a marathon? I guess you do if you want to win a marathon. <clears throat> but nobody has to run a marathon. Nobody has to train spiritually either. 
but I, I think it's a good thing to do. And this always brings me to this, this idea of self-denial or delayed gratification. And I apologize if I'm repeating myself because this is without a doubt one of my favorite topics this time of year. So I probably have more than one video on delayed gratification. But it interests me. You know, I was... So a few days ago, I was actually at work, sitting in my office, and uh, doing what I'm paid to do, and a stray thought came into my head, and I thought, oh yeah, I really want to uh, get that book. Now, in the past, what get that book would mean would be... Uh, I'd write it down on an index card, put it in my pocket so I wouldn't forget it, go to the library, maybe go to uh, a, a bookstore, Barnes & Nobles uh, at the time, or back when Borders was still a thing. It would take a while to get that book. So I pulled out my cell phone and I did what you do now when you want a book. I went to Amazon, stuck the title in, saw that the Kindle version was available for like five bucks, hit one click buy, and was reading the book that fast. There was no delayed gratification there at all. We've, we've started to live in a world where Everything is instantaneous. We get annoyed if we have to wait for any. And that's not good. There's, you know, the, the, the old, the old uh, sawhorse of patience is a virtue is, is a sawhorse for a meaning, for, for a reason rather. There is a virtue to being patient. There is a spiritual gift that comes with being able to take things in the time they're meant to be rather than the time that you want them. And I, I've heard, and I do not know if this is true, but I've heard that people in Japan, when they receive a package in the mail, they will set the package aside and go do something else. They, they will not immediately open it because they feel that it's in some way disrespectful to the package. Now that sounds a little strange to our uh, Western ears, but I think there's something there. Maybe not to the package itself, but to the whole event of opening it and, and finding out what's in there. You know, let's say it's a one of your YTPC buddies sends you a box of tobacco and do you, you just want to tear that open or do you want to you know, wait until you've got a quiet moment and open it up and see if there's a note and you know, take your time with it give it the respect that it deserves not the box but the, the event of opening it you know, we, we lose that I think it's good to deny yourself sometimes. Builds character, builds patience. So yesterday I got a text message from my friend Eric. Not the goofy one, this is, this is another Eric. And uh, it was a picture of him with his new pipe. Well, it wasn't a picture of him, it was a picture of his new pipe. Uh, which he had just bought at Boswell's in Chambersburg. And I took a look, one look at this pipe and I thought, man, I like that pipe. <laughs> it, just, it just sort of checked all my boxes. And, and I said, boy, you're, you're, you're lucky. That, that's, a, that's a beautiful pipe. And he said, well, its brother is sitting on the shelf. Why don't you go get it? thought about it, I thought about it, 
I, I want it, but at the same time, I just pre-ordered the, uh, well not just, but a, a few weeks back, uh, pre-ordered the Matches 860 pipe. In a few weeks' time, I'm going to be going to the New York Pipe Show, and I always buy a pipe there. Can I really justify buying another pipe? And, or am I just giving in to this impulse? So I thought, no, not going to do it. It's probably gone by now anyway. This was yesterday around 6 o'clock. That night, pretty late that night, 11 o'clock or so, I, I took a look at Instagram. And there on Instagram, and I'm not going to say who it was because I, I don't want somebody going and finding the post and then buying my pipe. So <laughs> somebody on Instagram posted that they had just bought a pipe at Boswell's not the same person. I know I know both these people and they are not the same person. But he's got a picture of the identical thing. And I'm thinking, oh, well see, it, it, the, the problem took care of itself. He bought it. He's happy with it. Everything's fine. And, and I didn't need it anyway. So I, of course, had to comment on this and you know, told him the story and everything. And he responded... There were originally three of them. There's still one sitting on the uh, sitting on the um, shelf. They open at 9:30 tomorrow. <laughs> ah, and it's eating at me. I really want to go and get this pipe, but I'm not going to. At least not today. I didn't today. What I decided to do was. Maybe on Saturday I'll take a drive out there. If it's the right thing to do. And maybe if the pipe is there, I'll buy it. If it's the right thing to do. But I'm going to delay that gratification. And I'm going to let the situation have the respect that it deserves. I don't, I don't know if that, uh, if that's going to resonate with many of you, but it's the way I think about delayed gratification, self-denial. It's about being, being in tune with the, the way the world wants to be, and I mean the world in a sort of a cosmic, uh, hippie sense, if you will, <laughs> not in a, you know, politics and everything else sense, you know, let, let the universe be the way it wants to be, and I'll play my role in that when the time is right. So I see my outside camera died, uh, battery finally went dead, so I could recharge that tonight, sorry, but you're just going to be seeing traffic, and I've rambled about as long as I can ramble. So I hope you're all having a fantastic Wednesday. Please be sure to tune in to the live stream on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're going to have Steve and Kathy Ennis, and it's going to be a, a great conversation. I talked to them earlier today. Uh, oh, just fantastic people. You're going to love it. All right, guys. Take care, and I'll see you soon.